We launched Tennyson International Income Trust in 2011. Um, I remember it well because uh, I just had my first child then, so um, I've got two now and, and it very much feels like one of my children. Um, and it was launched really because we saw that there was um, a, a gap in the market in terms of uh, UK investors weren't being served very well for international income. I've always been interested in photography as a hobby. Uh, I haven't done very much for the last few years, a combination of work and young family, and I'm starting to rediscover it again and get into it. Um, I've always liked it, it's quite analytical, um, but it's also quite creative, so it's, it's quite nice to come back to something that uh, I used to do and, and try and get better at it again. I really didn't know fund management existed when I was growing up. Uh, I was the son of two teachers, and uh, I grew up for a large part of my life in the north of Scotland. Um, but I really liked economics and, and so I studied that at university and I joined PricewaterhouseCoopers um, and after doing that for a few years I realised I wanted to get more involved in, in investing and joined Janice Henderson or Henderson as it was then in 2004 and joined the Value and Income team and I, I've just really enjoyed that kind of interplay between investing and the environment that you invest in, the economic side. I like learning new things and I like that feeling of progression in life and I really enjoy fund management because it has a lot of that. It's always different, uh, the market is different every year, every week sometimes, and so that's, that's a big part of interest for me. I, I'm not really particularly interested in, in owning a lot of things but I love that kind of uh, sense of um, change over time. The trust is suited to people who are looking for equity income and who are looking to um, diversify their holdings. So perhaps they have quite a lot of UK investments already uh, and what Henderson International Income Trust offers are exposure to overseas countries, um, maybe growing at different rates at different times and different sectors. The most interesting thing about running trusts is that you have annual general meetings um, where investors in the trust come and get a chance to meet the management and the board of directors uh, and that's where you, you get to really kind of see um, what the trusts have provided for those people. Some of them have been invested for 20 or 30 years in some cases. It's really interesting to see how interested they are in it and to um, get that link between you as a fund manager and the end goal. We launched the trust with just over 40 million um, and we've grown it to 300 million. And so I definitely feel that you know, the, the concept has been proven. Um, the next part really is to really prove that it's a trust that you can invest in, you can leave for 10 to 15 years, you can come back, the market will have gone up and down in that time, will have continued to find good investments. And I think that's the key thing that the equity income can achieve for people. My ambition of the trust is to help people achieve their financial goals. Um, you know, I'm not a teacher or a, um, a doctor or anything, I can't help people directly that way, but certainly you know, I and the team can help achieve financial goals for people. Maybe it's helping to pay for retirement, uh, maybe it's funding children through university at some point, and you know, for me success will look like uh, this trust having grown in capital and income over the next 15 to 20 years, and if I'm still running it, then, then I'll be very happy with that.